2019 Gatorade Athlete of the Year Awards are with Matthew Bowling from Texas. Sprinter, jumper, pretty much does some, quite a bit of stuff actually. The, uh, this year obviously was a big stepping stone for you. You actually had success in the past at the 400. Uh, you weren't a national name and then all of a sudden this year, wham, it all fell into place very quickly. What was the big change? What was the, what allowed you to take that big step forward? I guess focusing on speed work during the off season really because I wanted to get my 200 a lot faster to help me with the 400 and then that ended up helping me with my 4x1 uh, and then after I ran a couple 4x1s I, was, I hopped a couple people so I was like okay I need to try the open one and then I ended up running 10 at the first meet and then from there I just kept going lower I went to 10 2 and then 10 1 and then 998, the win eight and 998, and then I've been pretty consistent in the 10 wins since then. So those times, starting off with the, you know, in the 1020s early on, that's pretty incredible as it is. Then the 998 Wendy, first off, you know, breaking 10 for a high schooler, obviously unheard of. At the same time, when that happened, you crossed the line, and I saw the video on it. Uh, did you know it was going to be wind aided? Did you have a feel? Uh, I knew it would be wind aided because, well, the heat before us, like, um, it would show the wind gauge. So I was like, oh, it's wind aided. But I was just like, I'm just going to go all out. Um, so, I mean, it's still special for me despite the wind, especially because, like, Trayvon Bromel and I are the only two who have, who have actually broken 10 seconds with any conditions. So I mean, it doesn't really bother me that it's windy. And then you go out and you actually break the National Federation record, you know, win legal and later on. You also, I mean, as much attention as the 100 gets. And obviously the video went viral when you went ahead and did that. Uh, not a bad long jumper as well, obviously, 26 feet plus. Uh, what are your goals in college? Not your goals, but what's your approach in college? There's been some discussion of because of your versatility, maybe you might go ahead and explore the, the actual multi-events in a sense. But that requires some prowess in the throws and the vault, and that's a whole new ball game. What's your approach in college? What are the big goals for you? Yeah. What's the big challenge for you? Uh, I'm definitely not doing the decathlon. <laughs> it's talked about a lot, but I'm 100% not doing that. Um, but my goals are to get better at the 100, 200, and long jump, and then maybe a couple of relays. So that's, and then just focusing on weight room, Olympic lifts um, is what I'm help, wanting to help me and push me to the next level. And you mentioned that the big key, the big key for you this year was the off-season speed work. Was that the first time you did off-season speed work? Yeah, like really? usually during off-season it's just base, but I did a little bit like on Saturdays. I remember one workout I did like four fifties for four sets, and like my hamstrings were sore for like a week. Like it was weird, but I mean it really just made me better. And I did a lot of like uh, I don't really know how to explain the drills, but it was like plyometrics and yeah. um, different foot drills that really helped me. Yeah, those those will look okay. The, uh, if I remember right, you, didn't you, weren't you running low 46 a year before in the 400? 46 one. So why the change over to the one and the two? Well, what was the reason behind that? Well, the one and two, I just ran to the spring break meet for fun. Well, the 100 was for fun, but the 200 was to help me with my um, speed work for the 400. But I ended up going 10-2-2 in 2058 there, and then it made sense to focus on the one and two for like the state meet because it's such, in Texas it's such a hard process to make it to state. So I knew it would be easier if I was doing one and two long 4x4 four four instead of a 400 with all from districts to regions, obviously the state. Texas, track, they say football is king, but track and field is, is not too far behind yeah. in Texas. When you did what you were doing this year in the state of Texas, and all of this attention that starts mushrooming, how much has your life changed, and how much did you, and was there pressure? Oh uh, yeah, uh, it changed a lot. Like, I would go to like a store, and like, people would ask for a picture, like, that was weird. <laughs> but, I, I mean, I got used to it a little bit. And um, I mean, at first there's a little bit of pressure, but I mean, I have a really good support system. I like people who I love and trust, who I know like if something isn't going right, like they'll still be there with me, and that's all I really care about. So when you started getting very successful, what was the hardest part of all that? What was the hardest part of managing the success? Would you say? I guess managing like media stuff, like people when they come talk and stuff, and my coach, like especially at the regionals, like I had a week in between regionals and state. And I really just needed to focus on state, so I did media stuff for a week and then shut it down. Wow, pretty rough. As far as Gatorade so far, obviously a very prestigious work. 
how, when did you first learn about the Gatorade Award? Not winning it this year, but when did you learn about this whole program? Um, probably last, I think last year, or the year before actually, because I remember seeing it um, and seeing some of the athletes I really liked. I think Mondo won it two right. years ago, and then uh, Anthony won it this year. Uh, so when Mondo won it is when I really like, figured out about it. So now that you're here, how's it been so far, and what do you hope to take away from this week? It's been really fun. Like, LA is really good. Uh, the weather's really nice. I've been training here, um, and then we went to the beach today. Um, and I guess just like being around all these great athletes, like really mentally helps me to focus so that I can take that back home with me and keep focusing and get ready for Costa Rica next week. All right, so Matthew Bowling, obviously a dream season as a senior, moving on to the collegiate level now, and obviously some big breakthroughs. Looking forward to some big things from you. Enjoy the weekend. Good luck in college. Thank you.